So the next morning, morning it's, it's not very restful. Restful enough to gain your spell slots back and such, but it's still just not pleasant to be camping out in hell. Yeah, hell's not a nice place, turns out. Yeah. You wake up- me a horrible review on TripAdvisor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is not good. You, uh, you wake in the morning by a, what seems to be some sort of land quake beneath you. There's rumbling and crunching and uh, you startle and you quickly get your, uh, what, what you have with you, your blankets and bedrolls packed, stuffed in, back into your bags. Um, and Lulu sort of floats up above the, the crevice and says, The Wandering Emporium's coming. Oh, well, that nice. what? That sounds kind of nice, actually. It's, a, it's <laughs> a, a roaming market, so to say, speak. So and you sort of make your way to the end of the crevice where you guys can also see that there's like a dozen, there's a fleet of a dozen of these sort of mechanical beasts. Imagine sort of Mad Max Fury Road kind of thing, like huge mechanical uh, uh, vehicles. And they're all in such close proximity that there seems to be a shanty bazaar on top of them. You all, well, those of you, you, uh, remember, make an intelligence check to see if you uh -oh. remember actually. Oh no. Oh, don't make Help. an intelligence Six, check, Roger. Negative one, so an eight. Nice. Um, it's turned out well. You, you remember nothing just yet. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so this 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 bazaar, this bazaar starts budget, to come budget, towards you. Go. You guys oh, stay to uh, meet it. Do, do we want to meet the bazaar? Do you? I, I think it's a great idea. So I'm going to walk out literally into the middle of where the halt. Like, I'm just literally just holding my staff up, waving <laughs> All right. it. All right, oh. guys. Oh, this is going to go so, well. You look, you look friendly. <laughs> <laughs> I know we're in hell, but you look so friendly. Is he yeah. still is he still disguised? Yeah, I am. Well, you've had a long rest, so unless you cast it again now, you're not. You are not. Uh oh. Uh -oh. What are you, you want to doing? Use a spell slot first. Maybe we could do that before wait. I walk out. Oh, uh, can I do? I something? can say you've done that as soon as you woke up. Oh, cast okay, it yeah. And walk out. Let, let's say I did that and then walked oh, out. So knock off your spell slot then. You walk so out. We're still hidden. We're still hidden. It's just you walk yeah, out. Yeah, I just walked out from a rock. You, you can take. Yep. Cool. So, so you walk out in front of this huge fleet of vehicles, and they they sort of grind to a halt uh, about fifty feet from you. You see one of them like with mechanical le levers and pulleys and things, one of the sides of the vehicle shoof, opens up um, and a woman steps out. She's dressed in sort of long flowing robes. She's got a golden, uh, almost like a golden bandana that's, that's holding her hair back and a big <coughs> black thick uh, blindfold on. Mm. She looks in your general direction. She looks really nice. What are you gonna do? What do you want from us? W what do you have? You look like trading merchants. Well, come closer then. We have plenty of things. I'm going to step just ever so slightly closer, but not within melee range. <laughs> <laughs> uh, make a perception check. Oh. Uh, uh, what do I have for perception? Plus one. Eleven, twelve. Twelve. Um, so she, she says, uh, my name is Bonda Baza, and I run the, uh, the portions part of this bazaar. Ooh. We have plenty of other goods, though. We have machines and vehicles. We have... Ica, we have uh, clothing. What do you wish? Anything I want we have? A vehicle Cherry. could be useful. That Cherry. would be handy. Do you have anything to Cherry. offer sure. for the vehicles? Do you like gold? <laughs> Your gold is worthless here. Do you like so torches and tinder boxes? Do you, <laughs> you like, like, like torture? Yes. What with Bodger? He goes. Do you? Hey. Uh, I this think is, wait, 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 this oh, is our I, slave. I think we can make a deal. No. This is our slave. Oh, God, no. What did you do? Very well, sir. This, this slave belongs to you. Yes, he does. Sell him. As, uh, do I have permission to speak with him? Yes. Um, speak away. Oh, you wish to make a deal? Let's make a deal. <laughs> All right. What do you wish to get out of this deal? I would like to get... Uh, a vehicle of some form from you, thank you. Very well, come closer, I will uh, fetch Makadi. And as she turns around, uh, you notice with your 12 perception that the hair that's being kept back by this golden bandana is snakes. Oh, good! That's Medusa, um, okay. straight up. Lovely! S8. I like she, uh, what you've done with your hair, snakes! <laughs> she wanders back into sort of the midst of this fleet of vehicles and you hear her shouting, Makadi! And then you hear a response, Yes, what is it? And uh, there's a man here who wants some vehicles. So he, uh, he wanders to the front and you see a humanoid uh, gentleman with a white tiger's head, a white tiger's tail, and two white tiger's hands. Yeah. And as he puts his hands on the, the, uh, the bonnet in front of him, in front of you guys, you see that his left hand is where his right hand should be. His right I hand remember. His left hand should be. And do you know what type of animal he is? I forgot his name, but I know what type. I know that he exists. A rationalist. A Kajit. A He's a Kajit. Wrong world. Ah, oh, damn it. Wrong world. Welcome to the Wandering Emporium. My name is Mark Hardy. Let's make Ooh, a deal. Let's stop. make a deal. What do you have to offer for this vehicle? Well, I can pledge 
Greg's soul deal. Wait, 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 what? Soul. I do oh, not and which endorse? one is Greg? <laughs> I don't think you have the right to do that. I uh, pledge his soul. Nope. No, 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 no. I, am, I do not Greg, support Do you have Greg, the Greg. legal ownership of Greg. this man's soul? You pledge you your own soul. You don't really believe in you also that. Kind of pledge your own soul then. This kind of mystic shite, do you? Pledge your own soul if that's the pledge case. Pledge his soul and return for the vehicle. Do wow. you have ownership of this man's soul? Yes, I do. <laughs> no, he does not. Roll a deception check. He does not. 16. 16 plus your deception modifier, you got one? Uh, you should have a, uh, 15 plus two. plus 2, yeah. Two, so 18. Very well, I shall take you at your word. Oh but if it, turns wow. out, if it turns out that you do not have ownership of this man's soul, then our deal is defunct. That's not a problem. <laughs> really? I think I've made a pretty good move so, here. I think so, you actually have. You've <laughs> deceived him that you own his soul. Make an intelligence check. <coughs> with advantage. With it's a roll dice. Oh, big advantage. 15 yep. plus 11, so 15 plus mi minus, minus so one, so negative one. So now that you're speaking to him up close and personal, there's something about the name Makadi and the Wandering Emporium that sounds familiar, as if you've heard it in the last few days, perhaps spoken to you by a shield of Gargoth, who Don't said that he <laughs> would, that said literally that he would give you literally anything you wanted to know where the shield was. Oh. So you have valuable information to trade we with Makadi if you wanted it. Oh no. I just remembered. Bodra, weren't, weren't you <laughs> oh, muttering no. something about finding Maca shields Macardi. the Nine Hills? Makadi, one other, uh, uh, instead, how about instead of giving you Greg's soul? You don't want that. What's wrong with my soul? I don't want it. Let's don't not get into so it, Greg. It's useless. <laughs> it's not worth it. I'd leave, leave it, it if I were you. Wow. <laughs> we, I, I could tell you where the shield of Nina is. The shield of? Meh. 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 This is a real problem yeah. with If only <laughs> we wrote the name of the shield down. If, only, it, it's if, a, if, it's if only the DM had said it at least 20 times already today. Yeah, yeah. I know, but it hasn't. Shield so of Gargoth. Yeah, yeah, no, no, we can hear no. Gar Gar Gargoyle. The shield of Gargon. Gargon. That's close Gargon. enough for him to understand what you're trying yeah. to say, I think. You mean the shield of Gargoth? I know where yeah. it is. Yeah. You know where it is? Yeah. Yeah, give me a vehicle yeah, and I will it. tell you where it is. Oh. Uh, yeah, he, 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 he stares at you for a second. A big one. Make it specific because I feel like he might be a Big one. No, no, enough for, uh, <laughs> um, you know, about uh, one, two, three, six four, five, six, six. people or so. Eliak! And uh, there's a moment before another one of the vehicles sort of opens up from the oh. front. <gasps> And out of it, a human-looking guy with a long, sort of curled beard. Mm -hmm. Yes, you <laughs> called, sir. Is this one telling the truth? And he, uh, he looks at you, he sort of holds out his hand, and his eyes go white. Oh. Uh, make, a, make a persuasion check. Oh, gosh. 14. Plus 2. 14 plus 2. Mm, he seems to be, sir. What's my persuasion? Very well. I will give you whichever of my vehicles you wish. Take the, your pick. The, I would the take. I'll take the dragon with the uh, six seats. On six it. seats on it. Six seated dragon. So what sort of a no. like like a Chinese dragon, like a long sort of yeah. yeah? But, oh. So it's more like a worm. Like a big like a, like worm the dragon Chinese, worm. Wait, right? Chinese dragons don't fly. Do they, they don't fly. Don't yeah, choose this, the this dragon. We are gonna <laughs> wiggle our way. <laughs> No, no. Is this dragon literally something we just put over us and walk? Yeah. Just <laughs> <laughs> he can take anything. He's like, I'll have that. I'll have that. That's not a vehicle. I'll take it. That's ya. just a cloth. That's that decorations. <laughs> That's that? a comparison. That's it's that a... or no deal. <laughs> that or no deal. I, I'm I'm happy to take, oh, I'm happy yeah. to take that offer. Let's do it. I tell uh, you what. That and your no. soul. <laughs> and what? Your soul. Deal. Very well. <laughs> Let's do it. Great stuff. He grabs out a piece of paper for his oh, thing, uh, and with his with his paw, oh he just God. like cuts himself, yeah. and then starts to write it in blood. Ah, great! Yeah, just on the button just there. To, <laughs> oh, just so nice! What are you doing? <laughs> you don't believe any <laughs> of this crap. Do you? <laughs> you don't believe any of this crap. Come on, so man. you know we're literally in hell. Wait, oh, are you magic? We're in hell. <laughs> He's not. Can, uh, don't worry. So you Keep you going. you are now the proud owners of a vehicle, a, 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 a war, infernal war vehicles. Um, <laughs> You're welcome. 
You can you can choose. Yep. <laughs> Good luck, man. Well yeah. done. You can choose it to have two of the three following uh, statistics. You can have it strong and sturdy, and reliable, easy to fix, lots of hit points. That doesn't sound Hard like to us. hit. <laughs> Fast, easy, What's the most nimble, option? agile. Uh, or you can have it with dangerous weapons attached to it. Dangerous two of those three. Weapons, for sure. oh. <laughs> two of those three. Yep. Fast and dangerous. Fast yep. and dangerous. <laughs> fast and da I, I vote for fast and dangerous. Yeah. I'm fine. Fast, right. and, fast and the dangerous Tokyo Hell Drift. <laughs> right. Fast and dangerous. So Just you have a fast and dangerous thing. So it's not very strong or sturdy. It doesn't have lots of AC. It's going to be harder to fix if it gets damaged. But I it can has. Fix it again. It you say it doesn't have any AC as in like air conditioning? Uh, no, armor class. Claw, I can switch. You have all four of those uh, weapons that you can use. Um, and it's got a heated top speed. I'm proving very. Very frustrating, actually. <laughs> so, hey, Bodger, so you, you, know, are, you haven't you even are, told him where the shield is yet. Let's go. You're proficient in land vehicles, um, and so you are presumably the driver of this thing. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm proficient no. in land vehicles. Well, I didn't know land vehicles about, was a language. Oh, is, how uh, about your, uh, you hold up your end of the bargain sense. now? Oh. Where is it? The shield is back in the realm of. The Baldur's Gate realm. Uh, it's in Baldur's Gate. On the material plane. Where on the about? material plane. Uh, it's with a man called Fisk. Fisk. Very well. Thank you very much for this information. I remember and he reaches it. down and grabs a I'm pouch. I'm actually impressed with myself. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was like, wow, OK, cool. He, gra he grabs a pouch off of his, uh, his belt, and he holds it out and drops it into your hand. It feels like there's some heavy iron in there. Um, you open it up and grab something out of it. It's uh, as soon as your hand touches metal inside, make a constitution saving throw. Oh, oh that was dear. Oh. Oh. Eight. 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 Does your constitution anything? Uh, constitution uh, plus five. Oh, sweet. Oh. Thirteen. Uh, so you feel the need to withdraw it and drop the pouch, but <coughs> you overcome that and think, no, nah, I can handle this. And you pull it out, and it's a, a five-inch uh, diameter coin that's about an inch thick, made Ooh. of solid iron and with runes all over it. Uh, when you have it in your hand, you feel a, a sense of hatred and loathing coming from within the coin. Oh. A sense of a sense of eternal anguish. Mm. We're going to pay the, the river man with this. Lantern of Revealing. Lantern of Revealing. Which, which reveals around you any invisible creatures. So you notice that there are at least half a dozen imps within your <gasps> area oh, wow. just sort of watching. Good on you for doing that. You know what? I'm glad I did it. <laughs> a few of these things just fluttering around watching things, and as okay. soon as they're revealed, they <laughs> take off. <laughs> Okay. Uh, okay, we're a lot less well, safe now. Yeah, but, I'm going to keep this out, I think. But nothing you notice around the coin. Okay. There's just kind of an aura about it. Oh. Not nice. I'm angry! Wait! I feel wait, angry! Wait, wait, Those can I are, use this? What? Does spell magic? Does that do anything on you the object? Try if you want. I'm gonna do it to the coin. I'll do it. To, right. Is it magic? So you is that a bad thing? Natural magics of this hellscape to try and dispel whatever's happening to this thing. Uh, so mark off a spell slot. You feel the coin. Not change at all. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, happens. Uh, nothing happens. That's our good. I, I don't know the reason out. why. why I, I ask, mm. why have you given me this? What, why don't we do that? What, that is, what's going on? We've just had a rest. So. That is the fuel for your vehicle. Oh, we're all right. They are known as soul coins. Ah, how does that work? That's our trend. That's our currency and our fuel down here. Ooh. Well, I'm glad. So I didn't how do get we, rid of the magic. we put it in somewhere or slot it in? Once you get into the vehicle and, and behind the part where you steer, you'll you'll notice there is a slot for it. And it feeds off w w my hatred. It feeds off the soul that is in that coin. Ah, nice. So there's oh, someone's nice. soul in there. Someone's soul. Use it, use it like it for the soul? I think it's just someone's, it's someone's soul. soul. I feel a bit uh, shite about yeah, that. Yeah, that's not your soul, yes. Okay, well, I mean. Must... Oh, oh. Awkward. Awkward. Let's just kind of forget about that. <laughs> and just, uh. Get on it. with fun. On we go. On with on fun. With Everybody, come out from the place that you're hiding and, and we'll get on with it. All right, so you, uh, you get into this my vehicle. Yeah. one off anyway. You make your way uh, with this vehicle's help. You, you're much, you're much quicker. So it takes you only about maybe half a day or so to get to the uh, canyon where this bleeding citadel is, is housed. Good. Oh, yeah, for this, we're trying to get the sword. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you notice that there is a, uh, although it's celestial in essence, it seems the outer walls have been corrupted by the evils around it and been stained red Ooh. with blood. Mm. Gross. It's an, uh, enormous chains have erupted from the ground around it as if to restrain the citadel and anchor it to the basalt plinth that it's now sitting on top of. Mm. As you all approach the uh, the plinth, you start to feel like senses of fear and doubt just in yourself. It's like Avernus is really getting to you. I think we should turn around. Yeah. <laughs> Lily says, this, that's one of the protection magics of the Citadel. We should continue. 
um, you feel it getting stronger and stronger, and just like this sense of utter anguish um, as you approach the base of the plinth. But once you sort of break through it and get out of your vehicle at the bottom, it seems like you've broken through that abjuration magic and you can you feel yourselves again. Uh, everybody make an athletics check to see if you can climb this basalt plinth. <coughs> oh. 17. Seven. Four. 14 plus... You get to roll with advantage because your iron guy is helping you. Oh, great. 14 plus 7. Nice. Ooh, 17 15. plus 4. 15 plus, what was it, sorry? Uh, athletics. Oh, yeah. I, got, I got 21, just so you guys uh, know. Okay, 14. Well, I've got 21. 14. 14. I got 7. You did not. Well, I've got, oh, there I got 7. 21. 21. So 14 plus 7. So, so the two of you, amazing, you can four. scale this thing, no problem at all. Your iron, uh, your iron guy helps you up, no yep. problem at all. And and guys. Between, Help. <laughs> and between the lot of you and Lulu, can you we just, managed to can sort we just of help out this weak sorcerer to just uh, admit, I've got a roll. admit I've got a that roll. this place. I yeah. I'm actually just so Greg is on this guy's back, yeah. and I'm on Greg's back. Just going <laughs> <laughs> Lulu's kind of just can floating just up behind you, helping you. Behind. I'm just saying right now, on. like I, it, I was going to tell him that he had to what, admit what this place was better than Carlo, but this place, Carlobor is. Yeah, totally he keeps talking about totally Carlobor. I'm happy totally to leave better. him. No, that's the only way totally we're not gonna. Better. You have to admit that hell is you, better than you. You crest up onto the uh, onto the top of uh, onto the top of where this citadel is is located, and you see before you an enormous circular uh, smooth stone plinth right before the do two double doors for the citadel. As you all uh, set foot on top, it says uh, a, a booming ethereal voice just from around you says, uh -oh. "Sacrifice something of who you are, or go no further." Lantern of revealing. That's enough <laughs> revealing. <laughs> You look around Dodging. the place, you see that there are sort of uh, faces of blindfolded angels wow. just kind of around you, oh around, the, around the plinth. That's a bit creepy. This is horrifying. I'm just going to cast this. Can I cast this now? Pass Without a Trace, you can do if you wish. I'm doing that now. Let's do it. All right. All right. So you cast Pass Without a Trace, the shadows of hell. Do not hell. ruin it. <laughs> <laughs> do not make it do nothing. I will <laughs> No, this is this one. This it one will definitely nothing. work. It just <laughs> won't necessarily. Roll a, uh, roll a d20. It didn't matter. Yeah, it natural, <laughs> natural twenty. Just nothing. <laughs> so you, <laughs> you, <laughs> you cast pass without a trace. You you conjure the the shadows of the demon, demonic plane around you, uh, which cling themselves to your bodies, g giving you a bonus to any stealth checks that you have to make. Nice. Oh, good. Um, but you are, you stand in front of a plinth, in front of the double doors to the citadel. What do you do? Mm. Yes, uh, these an angelic, I, angelic faces have told you to. I want to do. I want to do a magic arcana check to see if there's any so magic kind of around. Do, do kind of Just a little bit, but I not, I did it nothing. might come in handy. It gives you a bonus. Uh, to yourself, Twelve plus five, seventeen. Seventeen. So you can notice that there's definitely magic around the place. There's ghost Lots faces that have revealed. There's uh, there's abjuration magic all over the place. You can you can almost see it tangibly uh, that it's just. Can we see the sword? The thing. No. Ah. So it's inside what, what the citadel, which you are currently separate? outside of. Are we in? What are we in front of? A door? You're in plinth, in front of a large stone circular plinth that's in front of two double doors. Now, what's a plinth? Just like a, a slab, a big stern, st uh, circle circle of stone in front. A big of you. Okay. table. Kind of so, stone table, yeah, or something like that, like yeah. a platform of some yeah. form. Okay, and, and and there's a voice, and the voices of the angelic angels around you, the so blindfold. Make angels. a sacrifice, something of who you are. I'm gonna stick to my bagpipes on the plinth. There we go. Wow. See you, bye. You, soon as soon as she Ooh. does so, the bagpipes dissipate into nothing. That's sad. But do they and make a have. last sound? Or <laughs> <laughs> you have no, you know how you now have no See bagpipes. Ya. Goodbye, and, old friend. And. Along with it, your ability to play bagpipes is gone. <gasps> oh! You did not tell me that that was going to happen. That's so, so you've sad. sacrificed your, your knowledge of how to play the bagpipes and you are free to cross the plinth. See ya. So she wanders across and Aye. gets to the other side by the doors. Lulu, seeing this, uh, turns into this creature that you see before you here and she starts to float over it. And as she does so, the image dissipates and she becomes the unicorn and mm -hmm. says, I've lost my ability to change. Oh no! Oh no, Lulu! Beard, but she, she says, if, so we get, if, we get the of, if we get the sword of Zariel, it will be Wait, worth it. And she Wait, makes her way across. Oh, is that what she sacrificed? Her. Yep, she's sacrificed her security of being on this plane. Wow. Y'all better submit so something real impressive, because like that's you, heartbreaking. You, well, you look like, a, like bagpipes. Like my so cultural identity. Oh, that's where I'm what now. Do you guys, yeah. What do you guys do? What do you sacrifice? I'm going to sacrifice my sense of self-importance and admit that this place is better than the Temple of Kalabal. <laughs> what? Uh, I, that's not a tangible thing, you can't just say that. That's what I'm doing. Ta <laughs> and so if you were to sacrifice this, Baradun going forward would never be able to yeah. be self-important. Self he will not be Baradun. Changes your character. 
Hmm. I don't have anything else I want to give. This is a catch-22. I'm self-important, but I don't want to give anything away. <laughs> um, I'm going to give my cloves of garlic. Oh, <gasps> yeah. oh my god. My old friend. So you put them on the plinth, they dissipate. <laughs> oh. and your your knowledge of how to farm garlic goes with it. You are no longer a garlic farmer. Oh. oh my god, this is pivotal. How do you feel? There's no coming back from this. What? You uh, you feel like you the path is open to you. The angels sort of step to the side, and you can jo go and join your friends. Go and join. And then the angels close. But back. I don't know what to do with my life anymore. I'm gonna sacrifice my loincloth. Uh, beloved, oh, please don't. Uh, beloved, <laughs> please don't. Don't do Roger, it. Roger, look at me. Don't I, do I grew that. up with this. It's a part of who I am. You grew and I up with it. it. Off it comes. Roger, put it back <laughs> off. You, 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 you I'm grab your cloth out. As the day I was born. <laughs> you go. You hold it out. You hold it out. <laughs> Wait, waiting for it to dissipate. Uh, it's not happening. What? Oh, it's not enough. Oh. Okay, what else? Artic I don't you are. understand. What? God damn it. <laughs> so now you're so naked. So you're gonna put it back on? <laughs> is that just you now? I feel a little bit liberated. Oh god, god damn it, put it back on. It's pretty hot in hell. Thank you, wow. <laughs> Shouldn't have been asked no. actually. <laughs> so are you staying outside or are you gonna sacrifice no, something? No, I got your turn. Sacrifice something. Shave I'm you going hands. to sacrifice myself with self sense of self-importance. Okay. Wow. You walk out there, and your your sen sense of self righteousness, your 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 holier than thou attitude, it goes from you, and you realise a sense of hum humbleness, humility, what it means to be nice to people. Everyone, I apologise for being such an asshole to you for so so long, and now I pass. <sighs> oh my God! I already hate him. The people. Oh, Greg. Here's the table. Greg. Yeah. You, you're a true friend, what? and a good and a good villager. You give good quests. While you're in uh, this mood, do you want to pay me? I'm not comfortable with how this is going to happen. I'm happy that I gave you the hundred gold. You should probably give me a little bit more though. Here's, here's another hundred. Let's gold. do two hundred. <laughs> Yay! Hey, you should give up your your accent. <laughs> <laughs> give up your Scottish accent. I'm gonna give up. My heritage, my Scottish accent. <laughs> and I'm gonna go to an American, like to my natural American accent. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> All right. So as you step across, you start to speak in Scottish. Is that you standing on the table? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and as you don't have to stand on the table. Okay. As, you're, as you're speaking, uh, thinking about your your Scottish heritage and everything that it means to be a blacksmith and coming from Scotland yeah. and, and your dwarven blood and whatever, um, it just starts to just kind of fade away until you. Oh my god! Hey I guys! <laughs> Wait, are. what's going on? It's gone. Oh, no, I mean, no, it's well, so, it looks like we all made it. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> yes! We've just given away all our Scottish things. It's like, <laughs> very <laughs> fun. <laughs> yes! With that, well, the, angels, the, the angels turn and they reach out to the doors and they push them and they open. In, inwards. Let's head on so, inside, guys. A nice sort of. Yeah, a, I like that. Let's there's a mist that, that rolls awesome. out from inside, and along with it, a, a sweet smell, almost like candy floss kind Ooh, of smell. Ooh, uh, candy! You enter a great hall with white marble floors, granite walls, and an ornate arched ceiling high above. I can almost picture how Lolo <laughs> sounds on the floor. <laughs> I'm starting to get annoyed by Lolo, actually. The, the, the constant clattering of her hoods. She, she, she doesn't make a heck of a lot of noise because she kind of glides. Okay. Uh, the walls and the ceiling are inset Thank with a, uh, a tableau of angels fighting devils along the river Styx. On the back wall, the largest of the angels, wearing a blindfold and spreading four bright white wings, is illuminated by the glow of the huge sword that is driven into the rock plinth in front of it. <gasps> there's, only a, there's, only <laughs> there's only a few inches of the sword, uh, the blade actually remaining unsheathed from the rock, but it's from the size of the beautifully crafted hilt, you can tell that this would be fitting in quite well amongst the armory of a giant. This is an enormous. Oh. Ooh, she's Guys, right so far. I'm going to put myself on the line and go and check if there's a new trap. I feel like this is going to annoy me way All right. more about Yeah, I, I prefer the old Baron. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, this Sacrifice is the way I, Greg, give me a hug. No, oh. I'm not going to do that. Hug, nope, Greg. nope. This feels right. Uh, 
feel the love in your heart, Greg. Ah. Oh my god, are you guys having like a moment? We are, and it's beautiful. Get in here, Bob. Can I like join? Get in, Bob. Oh my god. Oh wow. Yeah. Greg's just like demons out. so gutted about his new crew. <laughs> <laughs> get, get your hands off me. Get your hands off me. Get your hands off me. Let's make a deal. Deal. That's all. That's all. I didn't even need to say what it was. Massive thanks to Wizards of the Coast for sponsoring this preview episode of the upcoming campaign, Baldur's Gate Descent into Avernus. If you want to find out more deets, it's in the link below. And make sure you stay tuned because there are more episodes coming soon. <laughs>